Let's take a look at finding the mark up or the mark down. This will happen when we have a percentage given to us. The first thing you need to do is to determine if the problem is marking up or marking down. If it is marking up, you're going to add the percent to 100, change it to a decimal, and then multiply. If it's marking down, you're going to subtract the percent from 100, change it to a decimal, and multiply. For our first example, shorts are on an end of the season sale for 40% off. What is the sale price of a pair of shorts regularly priced $24.99? So since we want to determine if it's a mark up or a mark down, since it's a sale for 40% off, we are marking down. So we're going to still use our equation original times percent equals new. But this time we are given the percent, so we're looking for our new price. We determined that it was a markdown because it's on sale, so we do 100 minus 40, which gives us 60%. This is because we are paying 60% of the total price. Now we must change this to a decimal by moving our decimal two places to the left or dividing by 100, and then we multiply that percentage times our original price. So our original, our percent now is 60%. And that will give us our new price. So we do 24.99 times 0.60, and that gives us 14 and 99 hundredths. So our new price would be 14.99. Margie wants to buy a bracelet that is priced $13.50. What will the total price of the bracelet be with 6% sales tax? So we want to determine if we're marking the price up or down. Since it's a sales tax, that means that we're going to mark the price up. So again, our original price is $13.50. We need to figure out what our percentage will be since it's a mark up. So we're going to do 100% plus 6%, which will give me 106, which means I'm paying 106% of this original price. I then need to make this into a decimal. Remember, add the decimal at the end and move it two places to the left. So here we have 1.06. So that goes into the place of the decimal, and then we multiply. $13.50 times 1.06, which means our new price with our tax is $14.31. For this last example, you can continue watching or pause it to solve it on your own. A retailer marks up their clothing 27% over wholesale prices. What would an item priced $23.75 cost at a retail store? This one's pretty simple because it says the words marks up. So again, we know that the original price is $23.75, but we need to figure out what the percentage is. Since it's a mark up, we're going to add 100% plus 27%, which gives us 127%. We then need to make this a decimal by moving the decimal to the left two places. 1 and 2700 is our markup decimal. We then multiply this 2375 times 1 and 2700. So our new price, once we round, would be $30.16. As a final review, just remember that first you need to determine if the problem is marking up or marking down. If you're marking up, you add the percent to 100, change it to a decimal, and multiply. And if it's a mark down, you subtract the percent from 100, change it to a decimal, and multiply.